Ms. Foster, you've petitioned the court for a DNA test to prove that the defendant fathered your 17-month-old daughter, Sianna, a beautiful little girl born with extreme medical needs. You've dragged him to court to order he pay the support he's been neglecting. Mr. Fields, you say you're 100% certain that you are not her child's father because she was pregnant before you met. Yes, Your Honor. You claim to have proof to support your case. Yes, Your Honor. Ms. Foster, tell me about Sienna and what exactly has Mr. Fields done for her? He has done nothing. Nothing? What? Nothing. He brought her about three onesies and two pair of socks. And she has medical needs. I'm sure you have extreme financial hardship associated with maintaining her health. Tiana had three surgeries. She had open heart. She had diaphragm and a G-tube. Right now, um, she's having some development problems. So we're just having follow-ups in Syracuse with all the rest of her doctors. And there's just been no support? He came to the hospital probably about four times, but when he was there, it was just to have relations with me. No, I think that's a lie, Your Honor. I think that's a lie. I met Shania on Facebook, you understand? Um, Shania proclaimed to be a virgin. She came and seen me about the 31st of May that, that, that month. What happened the first night? She came to my house, you understand? I, she had bought some new shorts. I was trying to be respectable and I asked her, do you want to go in the bathroom and change your clothes? She tells me no. Take off her pants right there in front of me. I'm still sitting in the bedroom. One thing led to another. This is the Honor. first day the you first met her. The first day I seen her. You had yeah. sex that night on the night you, she got dropped off? The, the day she got dropped off, I had sex with her. Her mom came and picked her up because her mom came to my house and picked her up. Oh. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I thought you said she, well, she was, a, she was a virgin? She was not a virgin, Your Honor. I had multiple stories of her telling me how many dudes she done, you know, slept with and all that. This girl was Ms. Foster, virgin. he said that you were saying you were a virgin at that time. Were you? I was practically. Before him, there was some was other guy. There was How some can other you be guy. Practically a virgin? There was some other guy before him. I don't count that as a partner. You said you, you were pra there was a practically yeah. a virgin. Yeah. yeah. You, you can't know. practically be a virgin. What oh, does yeah, practically a virgin mean? Practically mean it didn't go all the way. What do you mean? So you wait a minute. Let me understand him. this, Ms. Foster. What you're saying is, is you had intercourse with someone previously, but you did not finish the act. Yes. Okay. Is that written somewhere that that's called practically a virgin? Yeah. I've never heard that. Thank you, Your Honor. I'm, I'm Thank not you. even laughing. I... Thank you. Have you ever heard of that, Jerome? I've never heard of that one. If I was in Syracuse and Jay Quah had a phone and I called him and told him where I am, he would come to me. How long ago was I, that? I don't know this whole front that he's on, that he's on right now, but I think it's because his girl's here, whatever, wife, whatever she wants Your to Honor, be. Your Honor, I got because evidence that Sanaya call just him, called my mother asking her for him. my phone number. If I was on Wait him, a minute, Mr. Fields, you say you have evidence that I says that... I have evidence that my mom just called my phone saying that Shania called her asking for my phone number. I did not call her. What would be wrong, I what would be wrong with that? Inboxing my little brother on Facebook. What is wrong with that? There's, there's no need for it. We was already coming here. What was the need for so her? So you're saying that she was inboxing your mother and your brother uh -huh. trying to chase you down yep. because she she's... Even, she was even... Listen, if you're she saying she's... Listen, she's texting my wife. Your Honor. She's Your texting Honor? your wife trying to get in touch with you. I never text his wife. My wife. I never text his wife. I have never got, known her since three we days ago. Let's get some order. You're saying that Ms. Foster was trying to get your number and was texting your brother and your mother trying to get your phone number. Right. I'm asking you, why is this out of the ordinary if she believes you're her child's father. Of course because she would try to get in touch with you. You think she's trying to get in touch with you because she wants to be with you? No, 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 no. I'm, I, listen, I'm married. I'm, I'm well, I'm really happy married. You Where's understand? the ring? What it is Where's is... Where's the ring? Sh Shania... Where's the ring? <laughs> Bring evidence of that. Where's the paper? Where's the, where's the marriage certificate? Where's that? So, so, so wh what is the problem with her what trying to get is, in touch with you? What it is is... Shania, I don't know what I did, but Shania is like really, really like obsessed 
upset. And what she'll do I is left she'll text you. my wife. I left you. You were crying to me, begging to come back with that, me. That, how that, you want your family. Way. So why, you why, why would you make Keanu. my you life a people, living hell? You t- I don't even talk to you. I haven't oh. talked to you in a while. We, like, I don't understand where he's coming from. He just was talking to me two days ago. No, I wasn't. Telling me how he loves me, how this is not going to work because Bruh, his family doesn't you, like Wait, her, time out, because now you're lying. Everything. Not, now um, you're lying. I and I have evidence right here, actually. Show me some evidence. Yes, I do. Show me some evidence I was talking to you. You, this evidence shows what, Miss Foster? That this is not going to last with her. Where that's coming this from? This is temporary. What is this? A Facebook message. A Facebook message that a... says, I still have love for you that will never change. I wish we would have had a longer relationship. <laughs> Even with my girlfriend now, our relationship not going to last long. Listen, I haven't had this a Facebook... This is from Mr. Field? I have not had a yes, Facebook in six months. Yes. You're saying you didn't write this Listen, post. Listen, I didn't write it. I don't be. I don't get on Facebook. I don't. I don't so own a bad. Facebook. So bad. This is a whole front right now. I swear to God, I'm telling you, Jayquel knows I'm that woman. If I wanted him, I can have him. You're cutting. You're cutting. I can have him, You're and he cutting. knows that. This is a front right now. If you want more episodes of Paternity Court, make sure to subscribe and click on the notification bell. Did you ever have sex with Miss Foster without protection? And I, I would no, have been a real person. I have protection, Your Honor. This girl said she was on the depot. Never. Depl. The depot shot is birth control. Approximately 99% effective from not getting pregnant. I don't know what he's talking about, but I have not became on the depot, and I haven't even dealt with him since January into last month. We, when I was that, with him, that, I was look. on the pill, and I lost, I didn't take we it talk, that day. We so talked about the luck before the baby was born. Were you? And he was there at the hospital. Your, your too. birthday. You thought the baby he was, was there, there at the hospital. So, Mr. Fields, you came to the hospital uh-huh. for the birth, mm-hmm. and why was that? If um, you didn't think the child was yours. Because of the, me- the medical condition that the baby was in, you know, I didn't want to just up and leave. He was there through the whole pregnancy, basically, and and except a month. And I just feel like if you were there and you thought of denial of if I was already pregnant or whatever, then why were you there through the whole time? Why did you come into my home? My mom accepted you. You're staying at my house. Your mother's here, right? Please stand, ma'am. Step up to the Thank podium. You. Okay. What would you like to add to this, and what do you know about this situation? He was involved in the beginning of her pregnancy. He was there. He went to doctor's appointments. When we went to Syracuse, he would come to... He would meet us at the doctor's appointment. He would stay there. He would be there. He comforted my daughter. He was worried... You know, he was asking questions about the baby because they found three holes in her heart. Because he was involved with my daughter and because he was concerned about my my grandchild, you know, I I accepted him. Me and my husband accepted him. I, I sat down with him. Me, my husband, my daughter, and Jay Quill all sat down in my living room. Yep. And we said, do you want to be with her? If you don't want to be with her, don't think because of this baby, you have to be with her. He said, I promise you, this is the girl I am going to marry. I, I, I did not tell you nothing like That's that. That's what he said. Mr. Field, you're saying you don't believe you are Sienna's father. Nope. But you've been present I was. for so much of the pregnancy, the preg- the- even in the beginning, her birth... Why is it that you decided to just leave the entire situation alone and turn your back on it? Because it wasn't it wasn't left up to me. That's the reason why. So it would have been your choice to stay I mean, and I was to thinking, support the child. Yeah, I would I would have did what I had to do for the baby, but I mean, it wasn't left up to me. So I mean, like I said, well, why would she put me through this? So I said, you know, this not my baby. I would tell him to come to the hospital and. He wouldn't. He would not show up. And the Wait. three times he has came, nah, he like I said, he would be on the liar, he would right? be on the Xbox, or he would be trying to have. So relations what do with you him. think happened, Miss Foster? Why why all of a sudden this young man that's going with you to doctor's appointments and sitting down family. and having family his meetings? Family got into my his mom head. Was in Texas. Uh, me and his mother Texas. actually had a good relationship. So I un- I honestly don't know what happened. Towards the end, I'm not gonna lie, I would. Be, I was really rude to Jay Quell during my pregnancy because I was underneath a lot of stress. I was living an hour away from him, and it was like he wasn't... You know what I'm saying? He wasn't there. So it was like, when I go to an appointment, I expect you to show up to the appointment because you live down the street. If I tell you two weeks in a time that my appointment is on this date, then you can take off of work and be there to my appointment. That's the least is you, you can do. you going to take off work to come to my think, appointment? Listen, was, listen. She was pregnant with twins. You know, Not and, and she lost the baby. And when she lost the, the the baby, you know, he was he was there. He was you know what I'm he saying? Was he was not there. Cons- he actually. I mean, he, he was, I'm not saying. When he I was told there, him I lost was... my twin, when I told him that the doctor said the twin was gone, he said, "Suck it up and get over it." That's what he told me to do. Life goes on, man. 
Mr. Fields. And then came. Mr. The Fields, I'm, 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 I'm trying to work with you because I really do see through this ignorant attitude you're displaying today. No, I'm, I'm, I see through it. It's... So, but I'm, I'm, but now, now, you getting on my nerves. Now I'm telling, I'm telling you, your little cavalier. I mean, I mean. No, no, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. This cavalier, I don't care. Everything's a shrug of the shoulders. Nothing matters to me. When we're sitting here talking about a child that literally is fighting for her life to have a healthy life, and everything is life goes on, I don't care, this, that, and the third. And from where I sit is so fake. I mean, it really is mm. irking me. You because so? what you're mm. acting like is so fake, mm -hmm. macho nonsense. Mm -hmm. I can probably do more push-ups than you right now. Mm -hmm. I don't think so. I don't think so. Now, hold on. Listen, now, listen, hold on, listen, listen, hold on. Listen, listen. You, this fake, this this, fake stuff no, you're no, doing you, right now you, when you, a child is uh, at stake, sir, this isn't good. You know good and well you talk to these people. You know you cared about this child. When this mother sit here and talks about the conversation she's had with you, I keep coming back to your eyes to see, well, is she lying or is, he, is, is she telling the truth? Did he have that conversation? No, we did. Was he there? And everything in your body language says that, that you were there. In, uh, what in I want to understand is why would a young man that cared enough to sit down in these family meetings, go to appointments, no. sit here through the birth of this child, all of a sudden now stand in this courtroom and act like nothing matters. What happened? And it, I'm telling you, I need the answer to that. Because it's they, important they, to they the happen. child. They happened. I'm, what happened? They, they happened. There was a point in time at her birth, after her birth, because you're saying when she was born, he was there. Mm -hmm. He was there, but before was. that, Your Honor, we were not on a good page. I actually told him, don't even show up to the hospital and I want nothing to do with it. And him. then he came anyway. He came. Which then furthers my argument of why I want to know would a young man that you say you're mad at, you're under stress, don't even come, I'm sick of you, we're not getting along, he comes anyway. Yeah. That only furthers my point that this thing that you're doing right here is not jiving with me. The man that's acting the way you're acting right now, I don't when know him she right said, now. don't, I don't even know come, you'd have been like, oh, well, I'm not going. I'll go on it, over here. It was because of so my mother that was the reason anyway. why I came. My mother is the reason why I came. Right, so what I'm trying to figure out now, there's something now that created a distance. When you started being with your wife and, and, your, and your girlfriend or whatever your relationship is. Did you feel support in terms of helping and figuring out what was going on with Sienna? Or did you just decide, I need to move on? At the hospital, it just went from... Like, she just went zero to 100. Like, and it was just... Her mother calls me going bananas, telling me what she gonna do to me, mm -hmm. da -da -da, this and that. So that, that right there is what, what actually started this distance. Started thing. the distance. Mm -hmm. Then, you know, I started talking to different females and then I'm getting, you know, yo, so who, who is such and such? And then they talk about Shania and I'm like, well, it's my baby mom's. Well, why is she inboxing me on Facebook telling me that you talk to this person, you doing that this, happened. you're a liar, you're never. a cheater. Mm -hmm. You also stated earlier in your testimony, you felt like Miss Foster was obsessed with you. That mm -hmm. just really, she can't get past it and she's calling people mm -hmm. and trying to reach you. Does this interaction cause a problem in your new relationship with your wife? Every day. That's what Your I'm Honor. thinking. I did have some type of feeling for Shania, but then when I went and found somebody new, it was like I told Shania I was happy somewhere else. He and never told me that. Until went we, like, he, he it went from here to like all the way down here. And so is the distance furthered now? Yes because of your new relationship and what you say is a difficult back and forth between you and Miss Foster, which only separates you further from Sienna, which you acknowledge could possibly be your child. Correct. All right, now I understand the distance mm -hmm. and this I'm is, ready for is... the results. <laughs> your own These results were prepared by DNA Diagnostics and they read as follows. In the case of Foster versus Fields, when it comes to 17-month-old Sienna Foster, it has been determined by this court. Mr. Fields, you are her father.
I step up and take care of my child. Can I hold her? I want you to hold your daughter, and I want you to help take care of your daughter and be there for her and support her. You got to work together. I, I, it, there's just no other way. You all have talked about a lot of things that have gone on in the past that have kept you apart. But this little girl needs you guys to figure out how to come together. Start talking about this thing and working it through. You guys can figure this out. Mr. Fields, I knew something about you. I was just not buying this thing you were, this attitude you were having. No matter how hurt you get and how often you're misunderstood or even how often you get it wrong, you can begin again. You started off the right way, doing right by this little girl. Might as well be with her. Step back into the picture and be present again, all right? Don't let anyone or anything stop you. That's your baby. I will meet you in my chambers where you can hold your beautiful little girl. Court is adjourned. <laughs> Ms. Wolf, you're in court claiming revenge sex has now put your relationship in jeopardy with the defendant. You say the only way to save the family you were hoping to build is to prove to your fiancé that he fathered your three-month-old son, Zane. Is that correct? Yes, Your Honor. Mr. Cottle, you say you're not a doctor, but when a woman is having sex with more than one man at the same time, the odds are against you. And once the results reveal you aren't the father, you want your name off the birth certificate. Is that correct? Yes, Your Honor. And so, Miss Wolf. You came to court admitting you had revenge sex. Yes, Your Honor. Explain what that means. Um, revenge sex means that my ex-boyfriend, Lucas, he cheated on me with one of my friends. So I was talking to his friend, which was Andrew, and Andrew was, like, telling me that, you know, we should get back at them. We should have re revenge sex. We should, you know, and we did. So while I was still dating Lucas at the time, I was sleeping with Drew also. And now you all are in a relationship. Yes, Your Honor. <laughs> so, Mr. Cottle, tell me what's going on in this relationship. Is the relationship on the line for you? It is when it comes to Zane and when the fact that he's not mine. I work 24-7. I not only just work night shift, I actually wake up to go back to work, to go lump another truck, to make the extra money, to be able to buy the diapers, the wipes, so, in your estimation, you are supporting Zane? In a, in a very typical kind of way, yes. So, Ms. Wolf, how serious was your relationship with Mr. Cottle's friend? We met on a dating site, and I moved in with him about, about a week after meeting him. And two weeks in our relationship, I invited my friend to come hang out with me. And while I was sleeping, I, I woke up and I went to the bedroom door, and the door was locked. So, I kept pounding on the door for them to open it and I saw my friend's underwear on the floor. So all right then and there, I knew that they had sex, and then I asked them. It was like, yeah, we did have sex, I'm sorry. So at this <clears throat> point, were you in love with Mr. Chittam? At the point, yes, I was in love with him and I was very hurt. So I took it upon myself and I texted Andrew. And that's when Andrew told me that, you know, we should have sex together to get back at them. Oh my Lord, isn't this just a mess? Jerome, I think I'm ready to meet this other guy. Mr. Chittam, can you please escort him into the courtroom? Yes. What is this mess? I'm gonna go up to the witness stand right next to the judge. So, Mr. Chittam, thank you for joining us today. You were in a relationship with Ms. Wolf first. That is correct, Your Honor. And you started a sexual relationship? Yes, Your Honor. And you all were living together? That is correct. And then she said she invited her friend to come, and you and the friend slept together? That is correct. So now, how do you find out that Ms. Wolf was then intimate with your friend, Mr. Cottle? Uh, one of my friends uh, texted me. So then did you confront Ms. Wolf? Yes. What did she say? Uh, she was pretty much denying it all. So you didn't want to tell the truth, Ms. Wolf? Um, I did tell him that I did sleep with Andrew for the, re the revenge sex, but I did not tell him that I was continuing to sleep with Andrew. No, I did not. What is also interesting is the court 
uncovered a couple of Facebook photos. Now, this is you, Ms. Wolf, kissing Mr. Chittum. Yes, Your Honor. And on the bottom of that screen, which you can't see, you were a Dallas Cowboy fan. Yes, Your Honor. Then we uncovered this photo. This is you and Mr. Cottle in pretty much the exact same pose, <laughs> but a different team, because this one says Seattle Seahawks. Yes, I like both teams, ma'am. Oh! <laughs> Is I like both teams. I meant, <laughs> I meant I like the, the sports teams, both teams. Triple but sports now teams. I think there may be more truth to your statement here in court today that you like both teams. I did like both teams. And before. both men. Before, yes, before I had a serious relationship with Andrew. I was... So when you found out you're pregnant, who did you tell? The first person I told was Mr. Chittum. You did? Because he drove me to the hospital. Did you tell him this is your child? No, I did not, Your Honor. Uh, she told me that she was pregnant, and I looked at her and I told her, I said, there's no way it could be mine. Why did you say that? We would um, have sexual relationships like at least three times a day. Um, she never got pregnant until she started hanging around Andrew. There's also other women that have tried and have failed with me. Has a doctor told you this? No, Your Honor. <clears throat> okay. <laughs> Did your sexual relationship with Ms. Wolf end once she found out she was pregnant? No, Your Honor. So you continued to have sex with her? Yes, Your Honor. Wow. Until when? Uh, three weeks before Zane was born. Oh. That's not true, Your Honor. It's not true because he is a um, pathological liar. He likes to lie about everything. Mr. Chittum, is this why you agreed to submit to a polygraph test to prove that you are telling the truth? Yes, Your Honor. Jerome, do you have those results here? Sure do. Because we can nip this in the bud right now. There you go. Mr. Chittum, you met with a certified polygraph expert and you were asked the following question. Did you have sexual intercourse with Sarah, which is Ms. Wolf, during her pregnancy with Zane? You said yes. The lie detector determined you were being truthful. Yes, that is truthful. Only up to a I was pregnant month. and you knew that. And I never lied about that, so. Wait a minute. <laughs> <laughs> I wasn't dating Andrew until I was about three months along, Your Honor. So, so you, you're testifying that you were sleeping with him during the pregnancy. Yes. But when you started being with Mr. Cottle, you stopped sleeping with Mr. Chittum. Yes, Your Honor. Your Honor, I'm gonna be completely honest with you. It was actually uh, January of this year is whenever we stopped having relationships. That's a lie. So where was she living then? Uh, with uh, Mr. Cottle. So you're saying that I had sex with you in my own boyfriend's house? You're a liar. <laughs> Are you saying that? Um, I actually do have the messages still. You do? Ooh, is this true? No, it's not. You have, he has the messages. I do have messages. I like to see that proof. And so you're saying you were intimate with Ms. Wolf at Mr. Cottle's house. Yes, Your Honor. You would go over there and Mr. Cottle would be working? Yes. How often? I'd say at least about once a week. Oh my God. Once a week. <laughs> and so these messages you have say what? Ask uh, for me to come over and talk. What do you need to talk about? She would uh, want me to come over and pretty much uh, please her because she kept saying that her boyfriend could not do it. Oh. Remember, you're talking to a pathological liar. I mean, they have my phone, and all my messages are on my phone. I don't delete messages. So I'd like my uh, court clerk to please hand Mr. Chittum his phone, and I want you to go in there and find these messages. Mr. Chittum, you have that phone now? I do, Your Let Honor. me see it. So this message uh, was from approximately three weeks ago. Three to four weeks ago. Wow, are you joking me? He does nothing for you? God, he got me so angry. 
And then the next line is, come blank me. <laughs> Just because and it I doesn't, said that it, does not mean it happened. It doesn't say talk, but it says, come blank me. He answers, why? And you answer, I need blank. <laughs> I won't read these words out loud. Wow. Then it says, last night you said you were loyal. Then it reads, I know, but... I just haven't had good blank in forever. I'm sorry. Just because I say something on a text message or paper, unless it actually happened, doesn't mean that I didn't do anything with you. And you know that. You know I did and not have sex with you. Your Honor, I will admit that uh, I did not go down there whenever she was saying all that. So now <laughs> you admit she asked but, you to have the sex, but you didn't go have the sex. Yes, Your Honor, because I had um, a girlfriend that I was uh, trying to stay loyal to. So other times you were in Mr. Cottle's house having sex with Ms. Wolf. It's just that particular time on your phone, you didn't go that time. Yes, Your Honor. Just because I get upset at my boyfriend and I do, and I did message you, does not mean that I had sex with you. Like, he just admitted. Ms. Wolf, have I'm you ever perfect. heard the expression crying wolf? Mm. Yes, I have. You telling this story way too many times. Earlier, you were, you were saying what he was saying was completely not true. You had Mr. Cottle up here talking about he's a pathological liar. He's not lying. He just showed his phone, and now you admit it. You are saying to him, come over here and sleep with me. You are correct. I did... Okay. You did so, that. you're saying he lied. I'm saying you lied, too. Both of you lying, obviously. Mm -hmm. Even if you didn't sleep with him that time, I don't think Mr. Cottle appreciates the text messages alone. Yeah. You're probably right. He's out working. <laughs> trying to take care of this household. You're just playing both men. So, Ms. Wolf, why are you so convinced Mr. Chittam is not Zane's biological father? I have evidence. Oh, you, you have an... Uh, yes. Let me see that. Jerome. And so, this conception calculator indicates you were ovulating between the 22nd and the 27th? Yes, Your Honor. And you tracked this. I mean, it is possible I it for and a I woman... I planned it, yes. Oh, you tracked it and you planned it? Yes. I... Because at the time, I loved Lucas and I... And I knew he couldn't have kids and I wanted us to have a family. So, I decided to sleep with Andrew and I knew I was ovulating at the time. I know it sounds messy, but regardless, I know when I was ovulating and I know who had sex with me. So, wait a minute. Is this like... Revenge level 10? Yes. Here, okay, I, I mean, I'm just checking, because it's just... It's like, okay, the first revenge, sleep with him. The second revenge, get pregnant by him because you believe he can't have children, so that's another way I stab you. Yes. Uh-huh. Also, Your Honor, he has a problem with cheating, and there's... All his girlfriends can tell you that. that... Oh, my goodness. So, when were you intimate with Mr... Cottle. The 22nd. On the 22nd? Yes. So you were having sex with Mr. Cottle on the 22nd and when? The 26th. And the 26th? Yes. Were you intimate with Mr. Chittam as well? Yes, Your Honor. Probably be like the 30th. Around the 30th. But also before the 22nd, I was having sex with Mr. Chittam. Okay, so during this window of time is Mr. Chittam. So... Mr. Cottle, as you look at baby Zane, do you feel like he looks like you? I really don't see it. I think he looks like Jidham. I mean, I have a slight feeling for, like, a connection as in, like, because I'm ready to have a child. And that's partially why I signed the birth certificate. Want to know for sure. It's my... So you did sign the birth child. certificate? Sure yes, did. Your Honor, I have that, actually. He... I'll look at that, Jerome. He signed the birth certificate. He also has... My son has his middle and last name. So if he really didn't think that it was his kid, why would you let <laughs> me put my son's, you know, name as yours? Is that Call. true, Mr. Cottle? Yes, Your Honor. You gave the baby your name, your last name and your middle name. Yes, Your Honor. Um... But you still doubted this child. I just felt ready for it, baby. That's why I, I put my name on there. Yeah, I'm just the nice guy. He just walked all over. Is that what, how you feel in this relationship, Mr. Cottle? Sure do. 
Miss Wolf, look, it's no sense of even standing here lying anymore. It sounds like you and Mr. Chittum still have something going on. Both of you still have feelings for one another. But now you done set this little ship in motion. You got this, this thing all lined up here with Mr. Cottle. And now you decided, let me see it through. I care about him as a friend, yes. But mm -hmm. I, my feelings for love for him are out the door. Okay. Okay. Yeah. Jerome. Yes. I think I heard enough. I know what's going on here. But the most important thing that we have not figured out yet is what's going on as it relates to baby Zane's paternity. And that envelope has the answer. Thank you. You're welcome. These results were prepared by DNA Diagnostics and they read as follows. In the case of Wolf versus Cottle, pertaining to whether Mr. Cottle or Mr. Chittum is the father of three-month-old Zane Cottle, it has been determined by this court. The biological father is Mr. Cottle. Told you, you are the biological father. And so where do we go from here? Um, well, I'm gonna try and see where, where things are going between me and her, but it's not completely promised. Ms. Wolf, can you give Mr. Chittum up? Yes, I can. <laughs> because I'm gonna be honest with you. He's never going to be comfortable being in a he's relationship with He's never gonna amount to me. anything that my boyfriend is. I'm sorry, but you're a liar and a loser. 